Hi there, my name's Andy Young and I'm one of the automotive lecturers down at Unitech in Auckland, New Zealand. And this is one of my basic skills videos. Just gives you a foundation of pretty much the, the, the regular stuff that you need to be able to do in a workshop. Uh, this video uh, is covering how to check the oil level in a, uh, a diff, uh, an axle mounted diff. Uh, we call it a live axle. Um, very popular on trucks and four-wheel drives, all that kind of stuff. Not so much on cars, um, but most most proper four-wheel drives will have a, a solid banjo axle with a differential in the middle. And the diff oil, the level of oil in that diff is critical. Um, if there's too little, say if one of the axle oil seals has been leaking or the, or the pinion um, flange, oil seal has been leaking then the oil level is going to drop. It's also really important to check the condition of that oil. If you've been off-roading, you've been through some rivers and through some water and mud and stuff, uh, there's a possibility the oil in your diff could have got contaminated. Now if it's got contaminated with mud and grit and that kind of stuff, abrasives, then unfortunately the damage has probably already been done and you can be looking at at the very least a set of bearings at the very worst replace the whole diff. Uh, if it's just water you might be lucky as long as you can get it out, out of the diff quick enough drain all the oil out and put some fresh stuff in then you would probably be going to be okay. Um, so we're going to head over to the vehicle uh, with it being a Nissan Patrol it's pretty high off the ground we don't use, need to use any jacks or axle stands you can actually get under the vehicle uh, on the level. Um, now do make sure when you're doing this check that your vehicle is parked securely you can chop the wheels if you want uh, leave it in gear maybe uh, but make sure you're on dead level ground. If you're not on level ground, then this test is going to be irrelevant. You'll be getting the wrong reading, uh, and if you do need to top it up, then you'll be topping it up to the wrong level. And if you overfill the diff, that can cause all sorts of problems as well. Okay, so you've got, this is the differential housing on the axle. And down the bottom here, just, like, just about in frame, is the drain for this differential unit. But at the back, this is the filler. Now you can see it's a bit damp around there, and that tells us it's been it's been leaking a little bit, which is not great. And it's also damp down the bottom too. But that's a different issue. Now um, this particular one has got a half-inch drive uh, fitting, just like on a socket, so we can use a normal ratchet straight in there to, to open it up. Now these can be really quite tight so we'll see how we get on. May need to use a cracking bar to do this. Okay. There we go. Okay. Now the level, the oil level, should be exactly to the base of that fill hole. So when we undo the, undo the bung and take it completely out, we might get a very tiny dribble of oil coming down, and the oil should should appear to be clearing, you know, clear and not contaminated. Let's get rid of this. Build with grime before we take it off. There we go. Okay. Okay, so it's probably a little bit low. What we need to do now is just pop your finger in and just, just see. Oh, that is quite low. Oh, there is oil. There we go. Look. So it's not too bad. It's in pretty. It's pretty clear. It's just a little bit low. Yeah, it's about. It's about at the bottom of the well there. Look. So we're about five mil low, and this is going to need a bit of a top up. Okay, so that's how you check your oil. If you want to top it up, then just get your little can with a bit of pipe on it, 
and just stick the oil in there. This oil doesn't need to be changed, it smells fine, doesn't smell burnt. And uh, like I say, it's still pretty clear, it's certainly not contaminated, so that's a good thing. But it's going to probably need about half a litre to get it up to its, uh, its proper level. Okay, so once you've topped it up, then you can just put this bung back in again. There we go. Grab your ratchet. Now some require spanners, you know, there's lots of different types of, of bung. And all the little Suzuki's we did there were all spanner size. I think they were a 21 or a 22 spanner size, remember. Some are Allen keys. There we go. Done. Okay. So that'll get topped up next time we're going to town. I'll get some defoil and we'll get that topped up. So there you go. That's just how easy it is to check the oil level on a live axle. That's a, like a banjo style axle, solid beam axle with a differential mounted in the middle of it. Very common. Jeep Wranglers, uh, Nissan Patrols, Land Rovers, they've all got them. Um, really important that you do that check. If the diff defoil is too low, then of course you're going to get insufficient lubrication to the differential uh, gears, the crown wheel and pinion, and all those bearings as well. And uh, that's exactly what we've got with that Nissan Patrol. The level's a little bit low. Um, no obvious leaks other than some really minor sort of leaching through the threads. Um, but the oil's still in good condition, so all we need to do is get some EP90 which is the spec for that vehicle, and just, just top it up. Job done. We don't need to drain all the oil out and completely replace it. Um, it looks to be in pretty good order. Okay, well, I hope you found that, uh, that basic skills video helpful. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down at the bottom, and I'll do my very best to get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, if you found the, the, uh, the video helpful and you think you might want to watch a few more, then why not subscribe to the channel, wherever it is, somewhere around this screen and um, you'll get notifications through by email or whatever, however you choose them, I think, uh, as to when new videos get uploaded so that they may be of benefit to you as well. Okay, thanks for watching. Cheers. Over and out.